Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful winter break. And if you are a student, welcome back to school. I'm happy to be back. It was nice to have some time off where I was able to decompress. I spent a lot of time working on my YouTube channel and I wanna say thank you for all of you who have subscribed to the channel and who have watched my videos and have opted to follow my journey as I work on completing my bachelor's degree in HIM. I still have a lot more footage to go through, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, I did not have enough time to go through all the footage I have and I am working through that as the term begins but so hopefully soon I will have new material. I wanted to sit down and record this video diary for you. This is the video diary for the first week of school. I am back in school. School started last week. I believe it was on Tuesday. Monday was a holiday so we started school on Tuesday. Last week was the first week of school as I mentioned earlier and it was was a short week. Overall things went pretty well. This term has been the slowest start compared to the other terms. For term one of the spring semester of 2022, I am taking two HIM courses. The first course I am taking is an HIM management and leadership class and the second class I am taking is the HIM practicum class. Overall things have been pretty slow which is good because the week before school started I was actually on vacation. I went out of town and I was able to decompress and really able to disconnect for the most part I did work I worked about 18 hours a week that week so work was part of my vacation but overall everything else anything that I had to do with school YouTube or my tutoring business I really decided to put that to the side and concentrate on my vacation it was very very nice to just get a break from all of it so the transition from vacation to the first week of school has been pretty easy just because as I said earlier this first week of term one of the semester has been extremely slow in reality compared to the other first weeks of the other terms. I am slowly getting back into the routine of things. Today is actually Monday. Monday the first day of the second week of school but I decided that I wanted to sit down and record a video diary for the first week of school. As I said things have been a little slow and I have also taken the same approach and that is why I am filming today not because the week was super busy I just wanted to take some time to ease into everything I have to do going forward so as I said earlier today is Monday the first Monday of the second week of school and I wanted to record this video journal before I started on my schoolwork for the second week of school so let's start talking a little bit about the classes I am taking this term the HIM management and leadership class kept me busy last week. To be honest, that is the class that pretty much took up most of my schoolwork time. We had three chapters to read from this textbook and this is titled uh, The Effective Healthcare Supervisor which is not in a HEMA book. It has been interesting to read out of this little book. The font is small, I don't know if you can see it on camera. And as I said earlier, the teacher assigned three chapters out of this textbook. The material this week was an introduction to management and leadership. I have taken a management class in the past as part of my associate's degree program in health information technology. So some of the management functions that were described in this textbook were not new to me. They were just a review, but it was nice to have that review as it has been a while since I took that management class as part of my associate's degree. We also had one discussion this week. The discussion had us identify a management function that we would consider as one of our strengths. Also, we had to identify a management function as one of our weaknesses and how we would go about working on our management function weakness. For those that have not taken a management class, typically management consists of four or five functions depending on which textbook you are reading. This specific textbook identifies five functions and those functions are planning, organizing, directing, coordinating, and controlling. 
I identified controlling as the management function where I feel like I would be the strongest. And I identified planning as the management function where I believe I would be the weakest. As part of the discussion, we also had to respond to two of our other classmates' replies to this week's discussion. And we also had an assignment for this week. And the assignment was based on linking scenarios to management principles. Overall, most of my time was spent reading. As I mentioned earlier, we had to read three chapters out of this small book. But we also had to read one chapter on management and leadership out of this book. This is a very heavy book and this is a Nahima book. It's called Health Information Management Concepts principles and practice sixth edition for my practicum class we didn't do a lot we were asked to make sure that we were able to sign into the ahima v lab which will be part of our homework this term we were also asked via a discussion forum to submit the location of where we would be doing our professional practice experience ppe we were also asked to read the PPE handbook which I had already read during the winter break because it was forwarded to us at that time for this particular practicum class that was pretty much it so definitely we got really lucky this first week because as I said earlier this is very uncommon based on the other terms that I've taken at this college as part of my bachelor's degree program in my PPE class we will be doing a virtual internship which will consist of modules within the VLAB platform. We are also required to do a 40 hour on-site internship and many of my classmates will be doing internships virtually as well as on-site. Definitely for those students that have never been at an actual hospital and are working towards their HIM bachelor's degree, those students are eager to go to an actual HIM department and see the ins and outs of being there. But with the whole COVID situation, a lot of hospitals are not allowing students to be on-site. So a lot of the students might have to do their internship remotely. In my case, I will be doing my internship with my professor. One of the main reasons I went back to school to earn a bachelor's degree in HIM was because I had the desire to work with students and become an instructor at a community college as part of a KHIM program. Because my main goal is to become an instructor in the near future or as soon as I graduate, my internship will look a little bit different than the rest of my classmates. As I talked about earlier, they are definitely either trying to enter the HIM field or they're trying to advance their career within the HIM department. My internship is going to look a little bit different than my classmates because I will be interning with my professor who is the director of the HIM program at the college I am attending. I am really excited to work with the director. I believe this is a great opportunity to learn from someone who has so many years of experience in the education field as well as in the HIM field. She currently is not in the HIM field. Her time is devoted to being an HIM instructor and she is also an advisor at the college. I am definitely eager to begin this internship as I believe it will solidify my interest in teaching as well as give me that motivation to continue with my education. Overall, as I said earlier at the beginning of this video, this week was a pretty slow start but I am glad to be back in school. I am working right now. I am only working part-time but I believe next week I will be working again for the college which at that point I will be working about 30 hours a week. I hope you had a good winter break and I appreciate the support and the subscribers that have joined me. So that is it for week one. Week two has already started and I have to begin doing my homework. Thank you so much for your time and I will see you next week. Have a good day. Bye.